I, I had a plan here. Now you're gonna tell me you can't. Uh, you don't need to see the line. The line just ain't sure either. Butt crack is showing again. Yeah, we'll see. That's that's how you get the subscribers. <laughs> I have more than a couple 3D printers. In fact, I've got five of them. And look, I know, it's a little absurd, but I didn't wake up one day and say, I need five printers, let's order them now. They kind of cycled in over the years. As a result, I never really had a plan for where to put five printers, and so they're all over the place. Now, my wife has a couple of ideas for where I could put them. You can put it up your butt. But I think I'd rather build a printer bench. That makes more sense. Before I get rolling, it's important to understand what I'm trying to solve for here today. I've got a closet in which I've got two 3D printers. Now that closet is moderately sound isolated, it's well lit, which is great for time lapses. Actually, those printers are going to stay right where they're at. The floor is the problem, because the floor is covered in some disorganized stacks of filament. They make it very difficult for me to access those printers, and heck for that matter, they make it difficult for me to find my filament. There's got to be a way of getting to the 3D printers. And there's got to be a way! Meanwhile, the living room has gone a little bonkers. We've got a table out there that's become a catch-all for anything without a home, and that includes my Matter Hacker's Pulse XE, along with the 3D printer that I've lovingly dubbed Lord Chungus Humongous. The Lord Humongous! Further complicating matters is the fact that I recently caught a really good sale on filament, and now I've got a bunch of it just unopened uh, in stacks on the floor out there around my desk and outside my work area here. It's a little bit of a problem. Just like how it's a problem if you forget to like and subscribe and comment when you're watching this video. <laughs> that was very sneaky of you. So here are the goals for this project. I want a bench that I can put three printers on, along with the laptop that I use to run that pulse printer. I also want filament storage for up to 40 spools of filament, a little bit easier to organize and to access that filament, as well as a place where I can stash my filament dry box that I use for the particularly expensive stuff. Now. I'd also think it'd be a pretty nice bonus if I could find some sort of toy solution because my kids' toys have basically overtaken the house. So now that we know what I'm aiming for, let's get down to business. It's business time. I'll be building the frame out of three quarter inch plywood and using some melamine as the countertop. Now, I'm not much of a woodworker. In fact, not at all. So I'm gonna be utilizing a little bit of assistance from mom and dad. You're going to see a big old cameo from my mom in this video. She helped me out a ton. My parents are almost certainly where I got my maker jeans from. They used to have a woodworking business. Uh, my mom actually just went to a craft show this previous weekend selling off a whole bunch of stuff that she's made. Also, uh, you know, they used to do a lot of uh, landscaping around the house. A lot of um, enlisting their offspring and some back-breaking labor. Now, when I was younger, I didn't understand. I was like, why wouldn't you pay someone to do it? But now, as a parent myself, I'm counting down the days until I can make my children do work to make my life easier. So good on you, Mom and Dad. Well played. Very well played. And with that, let's watch this thing come together. <laughs>
unlike most of my videos, just wrapping up and showing you the thing really doesn't tell the whole story. So let me show you the areas that have been cleaned up a little before and after and show you how this thing helps with my workflow. Come along for a little tour. This is the part where I wrap up the video and I say bye bye. But listen, you stuck with me all the way to this point. That's awesome. I thank you so much. I hope you also commented on this video, dropped a little like on it. Maybe you subscribed to my channel. But look, you already made it to the end of the video. You already are my favorite viewer of all time. Those are just bonuses, right? Hey, thanks. Bye. Time to cut our countertop and put a thingy on.